Welcome back to the channel everybody. Thanks for stopping by. In this video I'm back in Japan and this time I'm visiting the beautiful city of Kyoto. I got one day and I'm trying to squeeze as much stuff as I possibly can in it. So join me as I show you some of the beautiful sights in Kyoto. First time. I ended up taking the bullet train to Kyoto. It was pretty cool cruising around at 200 miles an hour and it was really smooth. Uh, the tickets were like $35, which wasn't bad for a reserved seat. But you also gotta consider that you have to buy another ticket for fees and that ticket was about $100. The train station in Kyoto was massive. It has this, like, this big mall in it and it was just huge. You could pretty much spend a day there just check, checking out that mall. The hotel I booked was called the APA Hotel. It was about a 10 minute walk from Kyoto Station. It was a new hotel that was just recently opened, if I'm not mistaken. Had a really not, a lot of nice modern amenities in it. It was really clean and it had a spa, which I was very excited about. So for $150, I couldn't beat it. So let me give you a quick look around the rooms. As you can see, not a whole lot of room for activities, but I'm just here to sleep. I think I've been on cruise ships with bathrooms bigger. But hey, for the price, two nights in Kyoto, 100, I think it was 150 bucks. Can't beat it. You got the TV air dryer and stuff like there. It's gonna be a nice little spot. After I relaxed for a little bit and washed up, I wandered around and found a place to eat because I was hungry. It's pretty cool this place. They got the menu right in front of you. Take your language right there. And then you see all this and you could just, just go through it. The menu right there. That's the other side. I would have recorded more inside, but uh, the place is tiny, and um, there would have been like a whole bunch of people inside of the shot, and I didn't want to be that person and be getting everybody in the shot. So I didn't cook. Basically, just showing you warming up food and eating it. So I'm sure you've seen that before. The place was good. Food was real good. Uh, and what? 1700 yen. So what? That's less than 20 bucks. And I had like a uh, Kobe beef and chicken with uh, rice uh, and soup. It was all good. So if you're right across the street from a uh, train station here in uh, uh, Kyoto, check it out. Well, hopefully I'm wearing this right. I got this uh, fancy robe on that came with the room. Uh, since I'm not allowed to video up in the spa, uh, I'm gonna go up there and find out where it is, but it's a traditional kind of Japanese bathhouse, so I'm gonna be uh, sans clothes, so definitely no recording in there. Uh, but you get like these fancy kicks and then this cool robe to go up there with. Uh, Hopefully it stays together because you're allowed to walk around the whole hotel lobby. Well, not the lobby, but the halls in this to go up to the spa. But I'll give you a recap what, it, what it's about when I'm done. But hopefully uh, I got to Kyoto the day before I'm actually going to walk around. So I uh, figure go uh, chill out in the spa, relax a little bit, 
uh, before I get ready to walk all these miles tomorrow. So, uh, see you later. One of the cool things about this hotel is it's got a spa. So, like, it's traditional Japanese bathhouse. <laughs> but you can't show you what it looks like because no cameras are allowed. But I'll tell you what it was or see if I can find pictures of it and post them. The spa area had an indoor hot tub, a cold pool, a uh, sauna, and it also had a beautiful outdoor hot pool. Well, I'm back. And damn, it was better than seeing. Looks like I have no neck right now. Better. Nah, no, it was uh, really relaxing. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, when you walk into the spa area, you know, it kind of breaks off. You had the woman's side and then you had the men's side. You walk in, they had lockers with keys so that we put all your stuff in there. Um, one side they had like a bathroom uh, area you could wash up, shower, I mean, wash up, shave, you know, sink with all the toiletries and stuff. Uh, once you go through the door, you're in the spa area. There's one area where you can shower, uh, you know, wash it before you jump in like the, the hot tubs. Uh, there's a cold pool, which was really cold, uh, a sauna, like a dry sauna, and then they had another hot spring or a hot tub thing outside, which was kind of cool. So, I mean, you could sit outside and chill in the hot tub. The men and women don't, don't mix, so, you know, they each had their side. Uh, but it was really relaxing just uh, to sit in the hot tub. Uh, sitting outside was cool because I mean you can't see nothing but it's it's outside you can feel the cool breeze while you're sitting in the hot water it was really relaxing I feel like a wet noodle right now but I am getting ready to uh, start going through some stuff if I don't fall asleep and uh, figure out what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow so uh, yeah you get on that and then We'll get in some stuff for tomorrow. Well, that spot worked really well because I slept like a rock. Didn't want to wake up this morning, so I'm kind of getting a late start. It's like 8.30 in the morning already. So, I'll go downstairs, grab some breakfast, and get this game day rolling. hotel breakfast go. It's probably one of the better ones. At least if you're not accustomed. At least if you're not accustomed to eating chopsticks. They have forks here, which is nice. Since I knocked out, I really didn't have a chance to figure out what I was going to do. So after looking today while I was eating breakfast, I decided I'm going to do the hop on and off bus thing. There's uh, all the stuff. Sorry for that noise. It's scattered all around the, the town, so this bus should help make life a lot easier. So, see how I can do that. Well, just got the ticket for the bus. <clears throat> there it is. An open deck bus, which is kind of cool. Uh, tickets weren't bad. Uh, 4,000 yen at the time of this recording. 4,000 yen is around right about 25, $26 US. Uh, if you go for the two-day pass, it's an extra 2,000 yen which brings the price up to like $30, $31, something like that. So if you're gonna be in town, it's not a bad way to uh, get around. It has a couple of different routes, so you can see uh, almost all the stops, all the major attractions. You can jump on and off as you please, uh, spend as much time there, and then jump on the bus as it comes back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time walking. I have no problems walking, but some of these places from where I'm at are like, you know, two, three mile walk, you know, that takes a bunch of time. So at least this way, you know, spend some time there, hop on a bus, go to the next spot. So, uh, yeah. So now I'm just waiting for the departure time, which is like hopefully in about another 15 minutes. And then um, start seeing what Kyoto has to offer.
if you want to listen to the audio tour, you make sure that the seat you're in audio works. I was kind of surprised at how much of a city Kyoto looks like from all the pictures that you see. I really wasn't expecting all that. Well, just like most tourist spots now, they charge for everything. To get into this castle, it's uh, 1,300 yen per adult, unless you're a student here. Um, still not a lot, but still they charge you. If you want tours, that's an, an additional 2,500 yen. But um, let me see what this place is about. Once you go through those massive gates, you walk into the big courtyard. Now, quick tip for everybody, if uh, you go visit a lot of these sites, they have a lot of gravel on the ground. So uh, plan your shoes accordingly. There was a couple of people I seen with like sandals and they were constantly pulling rocks out of their shoes. Very uncomfortable. But you walk and you see these beautiful gates. Uh, the details on them are amazing. The woodwork, the carvings, just beautiful. You really need to stop and check them out when you go through there. Again, you, once you go through there, you're in another courtyard with a uh, beautiful architecture and uh, gardens. They just have beautiful gardens all over the place, uh, ponds, uh, koi ponds. It's just really beautiful to walk around and look, look at. Something about these old structures just uh, amazes me. This thing's been here for a thousand years and it's still standing with uh, supposedly not that much maintenance. I'm sure there's some, but not that much. Well, just look at that wall, things are insane. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna walk back to the bus stop and hop on the bus and check out the next stop. And the next stop happened to be the Golden Temple. The pictures just do not do this place justice. This is one place you really need to see in person to really appreciate. It's just absolutely stunning to look at. This is one of the things that trips me out about Japan. You got, you know, modern buildings and construction right across the street like that. And on the other side, you got stuff like this thousand year old or actually a little more the original uh emperor's palace here in kyoto this is the emperor's palace before they moved it to uh, tokyo it's gonna be interesting to see how it differs from the one in tokyo i've been to the one in tokyo last year so let's check this out the area was really huge is actually a park around the actual palace area so once you walk over to the palace itself you could walk into the the area where the the actual palace is the palace is really you know, big area it's well manicured and everything is just like spotless it's cool just to look around and see some of the old architecture the wood carvings and stuff this place really is beautiful to look at Now it's back to the bus stop and then the next stop, just Chonin Temple. Man, this looks amazing. But as you can see, that's a lot of steps. Whatever's up there better be worth it because, damn. Whew, made it to the top. Quite a few steps, but. Steep up to the way, but man, look at this view. 
temples in this place are huge. If you want to pray in the big temple, you have to pay a fee and then take your shoes off just so you're aware. But the grounds here are beautiful and uh, worth walking around checking out. After wandering around some more, why not? You climbed up all these other stairs, there's definitely more stairs for you to climb in the back. At least this one has this guy praying for you right before you walk up all these steps. The top of the steps though, is a couple of other small temples and a beautiful view of looking over the area. And this interesting cemetery. It's the first time I've ever walked into a Japanese cemetery. Definitely uh, different from the ones here in the States. when the wind blows see the boards move I don't know if that's supposed to be like that for a reason but it makes it really eerie I don't know if it's supposed to do that or just re for it leave them in the comments below because I really would be interested to know right next to the groin I'm sure I'm tearing these names up. Is this place? It's uh, another beautiful park. You can kind of see in the background. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a quick walk around, see what's see what's uh, here. It looks beautiful. And right now, uh, the wind's starting to pick up, which is nice because it's been like 85 degrees all day, and this wind is very welcome. It makes everything feel much better. But this looks like a beautiful park. A lot of people just kind of chilling out. <laughs> Thing I gotta say about uh, Japanese, they love their parks and they look amazing. <clears throat> Absolutely amazing, look at this. Now, if you've seen any pictures of the Kyoto, you've probably seen the Ninazaka area. This place is really packed with people. It's definitely a tourist area. Tons of shops, tons of little restaurants. Um, pretty expensive in this area, and but it takes you up to uh, the top of this hill that has like a really beautiful temple up there. Uh, but like I said, it's on top of a hill, so there is a lot of... Uh, uphill walking in this area so be prepared a short walk away from there is the Gisha district this place is pretty cool uh, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to go into any of the places and see any of the shows uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to come back here and see it next time but shortly after well actually shortly before I got here uh, Japan implemented new laws restricting photography in the areas with the geishas because uh, some tourists have been um, jumping in front of the geishas and trying to take pictures and stuff like that so don't do it it's rude and uh, it's frowned upon now and they got signs up telling you that you can't take pictures or videos is truly a, a modern city with a few uh, very cool historical <clears throat> landmarks in it. But if you come here thinking Kyoto is just like what you see in the pictures, you know, like all the, all the area where the geisha are, the temples and the bamboo forest and all that stuff, it's not. It's a city with a few really cool historical landmarks put in it. But it's definitely worth the visit. Found this cool little alley to walk down. There's 
all these really good looking restaurants, but everything here looks bougie. Wet salt. And, uh, I'm not the most dressed looking spot person, so I don't know if I'll fit in too well. Man, a lot of these spots look really good. The Wagyu beef, all kinds of stuff. That's cheap though. Looks like I just checked out some stuff like a, a sampler platter of meat, a couple of pieces of Wagyu steak skirt steak and something else that was like eight five dollars doesn't look that filling but it looks really good the place that I was serving in man it was nice but your boy's a little underdressed your boy's also hungry so I might find somewhere to eat too before I get angry yeah I was walking past this place uh, couldn't even tell you what the name of it is but it smelled real good and uh, they have like all these pictures and they have like a, wag, a Wagyu uh, meal here and it seemed you know for the price of wag, Wagyu reasonably priced so I stopped like I said I wasn't feeling too confident because of how I'm dressed but I figured I'd take a chance to put me in the seat I'm sitting outside looks real nice the restaurant itself weather's perfect Fair squares with it Course number one, a salad. I'm not sure what that is. Salad is good. Pro tip, most places don't have uh, forks. So uh, if you're traveling to Japan and you don't know how to operate chopsticks, I'm really not doing it right either. I'm just faking this while I take it. Um, to bring a fork. To wash it when you leave or go to the bathroom and rinse it off, put it back in your bag or something. But if you don't know how to use chopsticks, bring a fork. That's a fancy presentation. Alright, there's my meat, there's my vegetables, my rice, and there's my soup. As soon as that starts boiling, we get to make it all together and make some, some yummy goodness. That person never done this before, so I figured somebody else would need to know. The way you do this, pick your meat up, put it in the pot. Basically, you want to start changing color as it's done, pull it out and eat. I don't know, I like to be that guy that records myself eating. This meat is like, it's ridiculously thin, but it has so much flavor and it is so tender. Alright, there you go. Sorry for the goofy camera angle, I'm trying to get everybody else from the restaurant in the, in the shop. And try to be mindful of what I do, but I am this is good. There's a dessert, a little sherbet. It's like a citrus, they said citrus and lemon handmade. Just... Oh, that's good. It's like it starts off orange flavor, then that lemon just kicks you kicks in at the end. Man, that's good. This is right by the river, uh, and down the one of the alleys. <laughs> Can't even tell you which one this is, but yeah, the place is fire. Really good food. Well, I'm back. It was a long day. Uh, let's see, according to my watch, 
25,968 steps, 10 and a half miles, and 20 flights uh, of stairs climbed. <clears throat> if uh, nobody ever told you before that Kyoto is very hilly, or a lot of stuff is on inclines, you'd be the first, because a lot of the places I went to today, a lot of hills, a lot of stairs. So if you come in here, uh, keep that in mind. Um, beautiful place, beautiful place. The history is just amazing. Uh, just to see all the stuff that <clears throat> that uh, was built thousands of years ago and is still there. Uh, the architecture, uh, so much history here, it's cool. Um, like I said earlier though, if you think Kyoto is just, you know, what you see in the pictures, you know, like the, the Isha area or like the bamboo forest or, you know, all the shrines, that's a tenth of what Kyoto is. It's a, it's a modern city. It's a, there's a lot to see. There's no way, uh, like in these videos that I do, you know, I get like a day, day and a half and I just try to cram as much stuff as I possibly can in it. Just so I could, you know, see a lot of the stuff because I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to come back here. But uh, I missed a lot. Uh, I really hope I get a chance to come back here. This place is amazing. Uh, but it's it's a modern city with uh, some really cool historic landmarks in it. So if you get here and you expecting to see like you know the stuff that you see in the pictures, it's it's not that. It's like I said, it's just a small part. But it's a beautiful city. Everybody who I just kind of like bumped into and talked to Just because you know they were there while I was waiting for the bus, you know, everybody was like really friendly The lady uh, the waitress at the restaurant was really helpful. She explained a lot of stuff to me and uh, the food over there was epic uh, Check them out if you ever get a chance, but uh Yeah, Kyoto's amazing um, My feet are a little sore so my legs from all the stair climbing so I'm going to jump in the hot tub and uh, relax for the rest of the night. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me in my adventure. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or anything, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me a lot. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, thanks, again for watch thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And that's how I get to do all this fun stuff. And uh, remember, you only live once. Make the best of it. See you in the next video. Take care.